All right, guys, listen up. It's almost summertime, baby. We're in like early mid spring. Summertime is approaching. So you know what's up, man. It's all it's it's speaker season, baby. It's it's time to figure out what speaker you're going to be using for your backyard barbecues, your pool parties, your on the go stuff, your park stuff, your stuff stuff and your booming speaker stuff. And that's why Soundcore came out with the Motion X600, because why not? They already got the Motion Plus, they got the Motion Boom, and then they got the Motion Boom Plus. So why not a Motion X600? I don't know why they named it the Motion X600 instead of the Motion Plus Plus. <laughs> I have no idea what their naming schedule is, but I'm here for it all day, simply because of the way this thing sounds. But if you haven't seen my other video, my dedicated video for it, which by the way, you should go check that out right after you finish this video to its entirety. Please do that for me. Check that video out. Let me know what you think about it. And you know, it's aesthetics, it's specs, and it's sound because I compared it to itself with the spatial sound off and on. So today, we just gonna do the dang thing here and compare it to its older or younger or smaller or older, bigger brothers. <laughs> I don't know how you wanna order them. We got the Motion Plus here, which is, a, uh, I would call the Motion Plus a, a smaller or younger brother. Is it younger or just little? Little, littler brother. And then we got the Motion Boom, which is like, they're both middle childs, you know, as far as size. And then you got the Motion Boom Plus, which is just, you know, the, the big dog, you know what I'm saying? So I was sitting here, thinking like what should we talk about in regards to the motion series family because there's some things you're going to find out that there's a lot of similarities between these speakers simply because it's soundcore and soundcore is known for giving you the most bang for your buck when it comes to audio so i did find some similarities within i gotta, I gotta look at my notes here because my memory is not that great uh as far as high res goes and sound quality high res you're talking about with the Motion uh, X600, they're claiming you get three times more quality and clarity out of a Motion X600 than I guess maybe the other speakers or more maybe the average speaker. But as far as high res goes, you also ha have high res in the Motion Plus. The other two, the Boomy speakers, they do not have high res. But now we gotta talk about power output. When we're talking about the Motion Plus, we're getting 30 watts or up to 30 watts of power, right? Now this stuff on the internet, it's kind of hard to dig up. So I don't know how accurate these power out outputs are, but this is what I could find on the internet. So back to the Motion Plus. We're talking 30 watts of power here on the Motion Plus, and then you got the Motion Boom sharing the same 30 uh, watts of power. And then you got the Motion Boom Plus, which is claiming 80 watts of power. And then you got the Motion X600, which is claiming 50 watts of power. Now, I don't know if this is RMS or peak. I don't even care, to be honest with you. I just like the way they sound. Now let's move on to durability. We'll talk about the Motion Plus first because it has an IPX7 rating. Then we can move on to the Motion Boom because it has an IPX7 rating as well. But once you jump over to the bigger boy, the, uh, the Motion Boom Plus, we're talking about IP67, which is just slightly different. And then we jump back over to the Motion X600 with an IPX7 rating. So yeah, you can, you know, you can splash or maybe even submerge these in some water for a couple of minutes and they're gonna be just fine. And as far as dust ratings, they're good to go on that too. Now I do want to talk about some other almost specky kind of stuff, but we're gonna go into the lab and talk about that. But before we go, let's talk about the battery life across the board. So first off, we got 12 hours or up to 12 hours with the Motion Plus. Then we got 24 hours, which is gonna be the battery champ here for the Motion Boom. And then when we move over to the Motion Boom Plus, we got up to 20 hours. And then we kind of take it down back a notch to 12 hours with the Motion X600. Now we gotta get down to some nitty gritty stuff. So let's go over to the lab and see how this is gonna work out. All right, man, let's jump right into it. These are the only two in the bunch that have the high res audio branding. This is what they're saying, man. You're getting, with this one especially, the Motion X600, you're getting three times more music as far as clarity and details. And then they also have the Motion Boom or Motion Plus with the high res audio as well. But if you're the kind of person that needs multi-driver systems in your Bluetooth speakers, you get to add into the group the Motion Boom Plus because you got multi-drivers here. You got two dynamic range, uh, I was gonna call them woofers, but dynamic range drivers, dynamic range drivers, there you go. And then you got two tweeters flanking that. So you got a total of four drivers, but you got different sizes for different types of sound. You got those tweeters in there for those bright, bright sounds that this thing actually does provide. 
But if we go back to the OG, which is a smaller speaker, of course, so it's not gonna be as loud and as boomy as the Motion Boom Plus, but you do have a multi-driver system here. You can clearly see because they got this nice open grill. You got the two dynamic ranges there, and then you got uh, two tweeters, and then you also have the passive radiator right in the middle with the Soundcore logo on it. And last but not least, the new kid on the block. If you look closely inside of that metal mesh grill they got there, you can see that there are four drivers. You got a tweeter right here, and then you have two dynamic range uh, uh, drivers right here on the inside, and then there's the other tweeter right there. But this one's special. You see that one right there up top? That is a center driver that is gonna be dynamic, and it is gonna deliver or help deliver the spatial audio, because the Motion X600 is the only speaker in the group that delivers spatial audio. But that by no means says the Soundcore Motion Boom does not sound as good as the other three, because they got these two, uh, I think they're titanium drivers. Man, this thing actually packs a ton of literal boom, but it also manages somehow to provide a nice amount of clarity with all that extra boom you get out of these things. And it's crazy because pound for pound, the Motion Boom actually does out boom the Motion Boom Plus. It's just that the Motion Boom Plus gets louder and definitely has more balance or, balance or clarity when it comes to playing your music. But another added benefit that I already talked about was battery life. The Motion Boom is actually gonna give you the best battery life of the bunch with tw up to 24 hours. And in my opinion, it's probably gonna be the most durable because it's more compact than the other ones. And it's just kind of, it just feels solid. It's all plastic, so you know, it can get scratched up and stuff, but it just feels so solid. This thing is a champ. Now, as you can see in the past, Soundcore has always delivered great specs, starting with the Motion Plus here, and they carry that over to the Motion Boom and the Motion Boom Plus. But every time Soundcore will come out with a speaker, there's always gonna be a few people in the crowd saying, it's ugly, I hate the way it looks, or I hate the build quality. Well, you know, there's a lot of people out there that say you don't buy a speaker because of the way it looks. I'm one of those people who like nice looking things, you know, it's gotta be pretty so I can fit it in my household and stuff like that. And I'll be honest with you, man, none of these speakers look good in my house, you know, because you only get real, like really just black as a color. Uh, they did add the red and the blue version to the uh, Motion Plus, which is great because that will fit in some, you know, maybe some rooms or something like that. But in the case of the Motion X600, Soundcore decided to go a completely different route. This looks completely different from any other speaker in their lineup from head to toe, top to bottom, front to back, baby. They did an all metal design, which is very sleek and very modern. I actually keep this thing in my kitchen. That's where it lives now, right on my kitchen counter. So when I'm, you know, cooking up some vittles, I can just get my boom on and shake my booty a little bit because it does look good with my decor. I like this Metro design. You got your open grill all the way throughout the front. And then you got this, this handle right here. Some people don't care about a handle or don't need it. They wish it was retractable or removable, but I kind of appreciate the handle because it completes the aesthetic of the speaker. And a huge bonus is it actually comes in three colors. This is one color, which would be what I would call gray. And they have names for their colors, but they also have a green and a blue, which look great. I really would like to get my hands on that green one. Now, when it comes to pricing, I'm not really going to talk about that because each of these speakers is under $200. They're always on sale. Soundcore, I don't think they've ever sold anything at actual retail price. So if you've got less than $200, you can get yourself one of these speakers all the way down to about $98, I believe, with the Motion Plus it is. And it's just crazy how much value that they pack into their speakers. And even when they upgrade their build quality and even give you spatial audio, you're still getting a sub $200 speaker. All right, guys, you know what that sound means. It means it's time to go over to the next room and turn all of them on and let you hear how they compare to each other. Now, when it comes to EQ, not gonna do that. Fresh out of the box, when you pull these out of the box, they all come with the Soundcore Signature Engage with bass up on. And in the case of the Motion X600, it also comes with the spatial audio on. So that's how I'm gonna play them against each other. Let's roll. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't know how this gonna end Oh no Tell me now, tell me something Cause I don't wanna be just friends No, no I didn't, I didn't, I 
You heard it for yourself, now you can make your own assessment. We just heard the Motion X600, the new bad boy on the block, compared to its siblings, which would be the Motion Plus and the Motion Boom and the Motion Boom Plus. How do you think it sounded, man? How do you think it fared against the other speakers? My opinion will not count in this particular video because I don't want to influence you any kind of way, but I do, man, they all sound great, man. I'm Soundcore always delivers when it comes to like pound for like music per pound or beats per pound or dollar or whatever. They always give you the best quality for the cheapest amount of money you got to pay to get it. And that's what I like about Soundcore, man. But I'm also really glad and excited that they decided to level up on their build quality and aesthetics because now, like I said, this one lives inside of my kitchen, man. And I love the way that spatial sound comes out and just bounces off my cabinets. And I'm just shaking my thing with my little, you know, my little spatula and stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me cut that out. Hey, I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is this is a cool ass t-shirt, man. Check it out, check it out. Look, it's E-Honda. For those of you Street Fighter fans from the old school back in the day, you remember the little bonus round when you get E-Honda and you just smack the crap out of the car? This is E-Honda's used car. Uh, there it is, E-Honda certified pre-owned vehicles. Let me tell you something. I would not buy a car from that guy. <laughs> Either way, man, let me get out of here. Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. <clears throat> so let me get this straight. You like this video so much that you forgot to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Don't worry about it, man. My feelings ain't hurt. You just keep on doing you, boo-boo. See you when I see you. <laughs>